In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three gradient donut charts in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I'm going to show you the uh, donut charts for three years from 21 to 23. So when I click, it will show you the first year, 2021, and it shows 70%. You can add icon and some detailed text. And when I click, it will show you the next year and then the current year. You can see here for 35%. This is created using the Excel charts and I have created one more slide where I have used this manually. So I don't recommend you to use uh, manual charts, use the Excel charts. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle and uh, the small orange point just drag this outside and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to give the same color which is the background so if you see here this is not visible so I'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl D and I'm going to give a black color here then go to the effects under the soft edges increase the soft edges all right and then send this to back and then put it here like this so it looks something kind of a shadow effect here okay so depending on the requirement how many boxes you need based on that you can adjust the size then there are two ways you can insert uh, you can make the pie charts either you do it manually or you can do it through the uh, this one from the chart itself so go to the insert charts from the pie charts i'm going to choose this particular chart which is the donut chart click ok and you can see here it got four uh, different uh, options okay so i'm just going to delete these two and the other one i'm just going to make this in the percentage for example this is 70 percentage and the others is a 30 percentage so let me just put the percentage sign as well all right so one is 70 and another is 30 percentage so let me just close this one then delete this i don't want all these legends title ta, ta, this uh, chart headings everything okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this orange point which is the 30 percent and i'm going to change this color okay Let's change the color which i'm going to use some light color here you can see here and again make sure that there's no outline also for everything so let me just select all okay and make it no line okay for this also i'll make it no line okay then this one i'm going to select a gradient fill so here you can see here i have used these different color combinations okay teal blue kind of purple red and the dark red all this color combination you can choose or a different color combination depending on the requirement you can make it and one more thing which you can do is select the chart go to the chart design and then from the add chart elements you can go to the data labels and make it show you can see here it's showing that 70 percent bring this inside okay and this line comes here delete select the line and hit the delete button and this one go to the home make it white font you can increase the size okay but before that one i'm going to reduce the size of this uh, donut chart so that it fits in this particular box so hold the shift key you can just reduce the size and see that it is fitting if not you have to just reduce it further okay i believe this is okay all right and then again if you want more bigger also you can just increase the size but i think this is okay i believe so once this is done you can just go to the insert text box you can add option one or chart one whatever you call it okay and make it center align open sans and put it here all right and then go to the insert text box you can add detail text here again center align white font reduce the font size you can add some detail text here so the next thing is just select all the objects hold the control shift key and drag it okay this is the second option 
again hold the control shift key drag it and drop it so this is the third option now this is option number two and this is option number three and here as you can see here this line has come so no problem we can delete it again now this is very easy now right mouse click edit data instead of 70 percent maybe this could be uh, say a uh, 50 percent only 50 percent and this is also 50 percent all right and just close this one and sometimes this will misalign you have to just put it in the center again now for this also right mouse click edit data maybe this is say only a 30 percent so this is 30 and this is 70 percent sorry this is 30 and this is 70 percent all right so you can see here again this also we need to align it that's it done and then you can add some basic animation effect to it so go to the animations enable the animation pane select this one first okay for this add animation go to the more entrance effects you have got wide variety of animation so i'm going to choose the spiral or sorry i'm going to choose the grow and turn okay click okay and double click this one go to the timings instead of fast make it very fast click ok and then you can do the animation for this also maybe you can add it a uh, add animation more entrance effects i'm going to make it stretch click ok and this should happen after previous so now i'm going to simply copy the animation animation painter click it here then animation painter click the text then the third one and then the text all right now let's play the slide so this is option one 70 percent 50 percent and 30 percent